So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add cover photos like these to gallery views in Notion. So this is my travel planner. So as you can see, I have a gallery view here, which shows an overview of all of my upcoming trips. So on these panels, it shows a few key details about the trip and it has a really beautiful photograph of the location that really helps you get excited about that trip. So this travel planner is available on my Etsy store. I'll leave the link in the description box below if you're interested, but now I'm just gonna show you how you can actually add these cover photos for yourself. So the first thing I'm gonna do is type in forward slash database, and I'm gonna click on this database in line. I'm gonna just quickly give it a title. So this one is gonna be my travel planner. I'm also just gonna change the name of this to upcoming trips, and I'm just gonna change this little icon here as well. Then I'm also just gonna hide the database title because I think it looks a little bit cleaner. And we can then delete two of these rows and I'm just gonna delete this tags column as well because we don't need that. So in this example, this is a trip planner. So I'm gonna put in the name of my first trip, which is gonna be New York. I'm then just gonna add another property by clicking this little plus button here and that's gonna be a date. So if you select the date column here. So I'm just gonna quickly put in my dates for my trip. So I'm gonna select the date. We then have to toggle this end date on so that I can add in a range of dates. Okay, so now we have a very basic trip planner. The next thing we're gonna wanna do is change this into a gallery view. So the way that we do that is I'm gonna hover over and click on these three little dots. I'm gonna click on layout and change it to gallery. So now we have a card with our New York trip. So it's currently not showing the dates. So I want it to show the date. So if I go back onto the three little dots and click on properties, currently hidden in our gallery view is the date. So on this little button here, I'm just gonna click that and it's gonna move it into the shown category. So as you can see, we now have our dates and our location, but we still don't have our cover photo. So firstly, I need to add a cover photo. So if I click on this little box here, it will bring up a new page, which is our New York page. If you hover just up here, you can see add icon and add cover. So I'm gonna click on add cover once you do that, it will automatically pull through a random cover photo. So to change it, you just hover over and it will say change cover. I'm just gonna click that button. There are a few you can choose from. You can also upload your own on this upload tab. So if you have a photograph already, you can upload it here. You can also paste in a link. So if you found a photo you really like, say on Google Images, you can just paste in the link here and it will automatically pull the photo through. We also have this Unsplash option. So Unsplash is a free stock photo library. So this is usually the option that I go for because it's really quick and easy to get a really nice photo. So you just wanna type in the name of whatever you're searching for. So in this case for me, I'm gonna type in New York. That's then gonna bring up loads of really beautiful photos of New York. So I'm just gonna pick one that I like, like this one. It does just take a few seconds to load, but as you can see, we now have our beautiful photo of New York. You can also add an icon. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna pick the Statue of Liberty and then I'm just gonna click back onto the main page. Okay, so we've now added our cover photo, but for some reason it's still not showing up. So what I need to do is click on these three dots again, click on layout. And then under card preview, it's currently set to page content. So it's currently showing a preview of the content on that page. So if I click on card preview, you can change it to page cover. So once you do that, it will bring through the cover photo that you've selected on that particular page. So it's bringing through that really nice photo of New York. So I'm just gonna add another one as an example. So if I click now on plus new, it's opening up a new page. So let's say my next trip is London. I can pick some dates and I'm gonna pick an icon and add a cover. I'm gonna change it using Unsplash. So if I type in London, I'm then gonna pick this picture here. Okay, so that's populated. So here we go, now this one is pulled through. So the only other thing you need to know is that you can reposition these photos. So if I hover over the box, you will see this reposition button appear. So if I click on that, it will allow me to move the image so you can really play around with this as much as you want. I'm just gonna move it down a little. And that's it. So if you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. And you can also check out my pre-made Notion templates on my Etsy store. The link will be in the description below.